And I suppose I'm here to officially launch, if that's okay, a Human Library Book Day. My name is Ava Rosa and my book title is Invisible Disabilities. Hello, oh, um, my name is Ethan Taylor and I'm going to be talking about um, my life as a transgender man in Ireland, so from when I came out and so now we call it essentially. I'm Pat Neal and um, I'll be talking a bit about the importance of minding yourself and minding other people in the workplace, you know. My name's Claire and my book title is Autistic. It's so hard to like even summarise what the autistic experience is like. Um, and I'm like late diagnosed, so I'm 41 now and I was diagnosed six months ago at the age of 40. So the two conditions I'll be talking about today are endometriosis and gastroparesis. And endometriosis is a very, very misunderstood disease. People tend to think it's just the reproductive organs, but for myself it was a whole body disease. Um, and it caused organ failure and all these things, but that only happened because I was neglected in the medical system, um, as I think a lot of women often are. Uh, my name is John, and I think the name of the book is Learning to Live with Loss, Getting Over Bereavement, or yeah, something like that. My youngest daughter died six years ago, and it was um, very difficult learning to get over that and to live again. My name is Rebecca Roper. I'm the Head of Teaching and Learning in IDT, and I'm the lead organizer with the TNL committee for this particular event. So many times we don't have an opportunity to ask open questions because people will judge us and say, oh, you know, you're anti-me because you have a question about this. I think there needs to be space in our democracy for discourse. Uh, a bit worried I would ask a bad question or an awkward question or offend in some way, but that wasn't a problem. You know, watching a documentary is different from actually being able to speak to someone who has lived through that experience. Well, it's been a very interesting experience being autistic, but an even more interesting experience now knowing that I'm autistic. As you get older, you find yourself in charge of people and people look up to you a bit. And it's about treating people with respect and being human in a human fashion. I want to like open the conversation further to other people's experiences. I really like the idea that it opens people's minds up and kind of helps to break down the barriers of prejudice. Yeah, so I reckon that um, I'm not the only one living with grief. So yeah, just have a conversation with that about other people. Yeah, maybe it's helpful for me and maybe helpful for somebody else. Attitudes are the hardest thing to change and this is a very hopeful way of changing attitudes.